everybody welcome to my video today i am so excited because my creative mojo has finally come back right in the nick of time right so today i wanted to dive in and use this stamp set i've been eyeing it since i got it i got it a couple weeks ago and I've been wanting to use it. It's a stamp set that you basically, you know, you stamp one image and then with another color, you stamp another and it builds this great image. And those tend to intimidate me a little bit. I tend to feel like it doesn't look right while I'm doing it, but I thought I would just dive in and do this one and see what I could do. And I'm glad I did because I have a fun card to share with you guys. So I'm going to be using this uh, stamp set right here. It's Painted Harvest. It's coming out in the brand new holiday catalog so it's not available quite yet but it will be very soon and then I'm also using some designer paper from that catalog and so let's dive in I'm gonna need a little background piece this is a piece of cardboard I just have sitting by my desk all the time and then I can use it when I need a little bit of protection for my mat and then this stamp set is photopolymer so layering it is gonna be super easy so let's start. I am going to use, this is a crushed curry and this is just a card base. What I'm going to do is attach it to a whisper white piece of cardstock when I'm all done. So this is four and a half this way by five and a quarter. So it's going to do the whole card front. The next piece I have, okay, so let me show you how I did this. So the first, so the next layer I did, I took a, a, a quarter inch, sorry about that, a quarter inch off my white cardstock. So what I did is I went down to five and then four and three quarters. And that way I had a nice border around here. The idea for this card came from a card sketch I shared with my team. So on Mondays, I've started a new thing with my team where I share a card sketch and then we can dive in and we can use that card sketch to create. And this was where I got the idea originally. So then I wanted to do a little pop of color right behind this whisper white piece. So I just added like an eighth of an inch for that color. So there's hardly any, uh, there's just a sliver of a border around that whisper white. So we're going to do our stamping first. We're not going to attach anything uh, just in case I mess up my stamping. So what I'm starting with is crushed curry. That's what's here. This is going to be my first large stamp. It's right up here. And then the second one, the layering, I am actually using a uh, peekaboo peach, which I was not sure about the color combo, but it ended up working out. And then I'm using early espresso. So I wanted to use Cajun craze, but my stamps uh, pad needs to be re-inked and uh, my re-inker is on, on its way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by just lay layering three of these down and it looks a little strange it looks like maybe it didn't stamp all the way but that's not the case and I'm hanging off the edge of my paper a little bit and then over here I'm gonna hang off quite a bit just like that and then I'm gonna take the peekaboo peach and this is where you just have to kind of go with it. I sort of try to line that circle up in the middle somewhat to where it looks like it fits. But then I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to stamp. And I always feel like at this point it doesn't look right and I'm doing something wrong. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna take the early espresso and what I wanna do, I just got ink right on my thumb. What I wanna do is stamp off once and then stamp right in the middle. I just wanted a lighter look to the middle and I'm letting that overlap and I'm just, I'm trying not to worry about if it's perfect. Okay, so now what I wanna do is go ahead and stamp my sentiment um, on here and I'm gonna do that in early espresso. I'm just using a sentiment um, right from that Painted Harvest. I'm going to put this right here. And it's okay if it overlaps a little bit of that color. That's not exactly perfectly straight because I'm at an angle here. And then what I'm going to do is there's this. 
image right here in the stamp set. And I'm gonna put that in the early espresso. And we're just gonna fill in a couple dots here and there. I think this would be really pretty. My original idea was to stamp this in Versamark and then emboss it with the copper embossing powder. I think that would have looked really pretty. Or the other thing that would look pretty with this is if you did that in green, since we're adding a little bit of green. So I'm gonna take and we're gonna start attaching this. So let's start with our Whisper White stamped piece. And you can see how quickly that stamping came together. It was not hard to do. And if you just go with it and try not to think that it doesn't look right when you're stamping it, once you're all done, it really comes together. So now here's our crushed curry piece. And this piece is gonna go right in the middle as well. You could pop this green piece up if you wanted to give it a little bit of dimension. Try to get that right in the middle. And then we have our pattern piece. Now either side could be used. I like using this piece right here, this design. And this is just a inch by four and a quarter because we're gonna stretch this all the way up. Just like that. And then what I've done is I've cut a quarter inch of early espresso crushed curry and then this is garden green. And what I've done is flagged the ends and then we're going to start with our crushed curry. We're gonna put a little bit of adhesive up here on the corner. We're gonna add early espresso we're going to overlap it like this, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll add another layer, and then we'll do our green. So we kind of have this little flagged piece, and I want them kind of close together, just like that. And then I have some linen thread. And what I'm going to do is tie this around the end here. So I'm gonna wrap this around two or three times and then tie a bow. Okay, so now let's add our final flagged element to the card. And I just use quite a few dimensionals. I'm gonna stick this right in the corner just like that. So now all I have to do is add my card to a white card base. So I'll take my white card base and we'll just attach this right to that. And here's our card. I love the way this came out. I'm for sure excited that I feel like my mojo has come back. So you guys don't forget that I have a free stamp set that I'm giving away for orders placed with me using the host code this month. Supplies that I used are down in the supply list on my website or in the YouTube description. The designer paper and the stamp set are not available until September 1st and I'm super sorry, but all the cardstock I used and ink, you can pick that up. Um, if you have any questions or if you're still in need of a holiday catalog, please let me know. And I will be back tomorrow with a memory keeping Friday and some exciting stuff that I want to share with you guys that I did over the summer with memory keeping and project life. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.